So let me offer my obeisances to Lord Sri Nityananda, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, whose opulence is wonderful and unlimited. By his will, even a fool can understand his identity. Jai Gurudev. <laughs> so it's interesting. Let me offer my obeisances to Lord Sri Nityananda. And then he said, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Maybe it's a hint. Who is the Supreme? The Supreme Personality of Godhead. We will find more hints, but first we will see, we will read. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, whose opulence is wonderful and unlimited. So what kind of opulence is meant? And why it's so wonderful and why it's unlimited? By his will, even a fool can understand his identity. Only fool can understand. If he is very knowledgeable, he will never understand. Foolish and child also. Childishness. Two qualifications. First, you have to be foolish. Then you understand that if not, then ego can cut what you are listening. So to listening something, you have to be foolish <coughs> to understand that and to be a, like a child, like a baby who want to learn that. This whole two qualifications, foolish and child can understand. Right? Perfect, right. Only if we are helpless, we seek for help. And only then we can accept the help. Yeah. If we, we think we know, then we don't need help. Yes, then we don't need help. Then we, we are under control. Of course, you are. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Then we think we can control something. And then we will make our experience. It was said in the beginning of uh, Adi Lila chapter 4 also, even a foolish child can understand. Nochendanandana. Yeah. So, in the beginning of chapter 4, it's also said, even a foolish child can understand Vachendranandana. Vachendranandana yeah. is impossible to know Krishna. But if you know Krishna, but you don't know Narayan Krishna or Brajendra Krishna. It's also difficult to know. We think that Narayan Krishna is a Krishna. Dwarka Krishna is a Krishna. Honestly, it's not, I'm not foolish to understand that. We are very agitated. When we become foolish, we understand the beauty of Brajendra Mahatma. 
But only by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we have to be foolish and helpless, then we can understand by the mercy. So, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is beginning this chapter. He is saying, I have described the glory of Sri Krishna Chaitanya in six verses. Now, in five verses, I shall describe the glory of Lord Nitya Ananda. Sarva avatari Krishna Svayam Bhagavan Tanhara Tvitiya Deha Sri Balaram. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, is the fountain head of all incarnations. Lord Balaram is his second body. So, Lord Balaram. Bala means power. And Rama, out of the meeting of Radharani and Mohan, the power is coming. Balarama. Right, Gurudev? You are you are unmuted. Yeah, hundred percent right. Yes. So power means power of love because this is the highest power. What else? What what power else is the highest? Bala, the real power, means love, and this love is emanating from the meeting of Radharani and Mohan. And this is his second body. So we may understand that it's not just the brother, it's also the sister of Radha. Yeah. That's why this Bala is coming. Ram means uh, Ra Ma Ram. Ra Ma. Radha and Mohan is Ram. Ram is the big mantra of Radha. Big Radha, which mantra is Ram? And you say, right. What is the bulk? Ram is the bulk of energy, powerful energy is the bulk, the bulk. 
and Ram means where Radha and Mohan is there. Radha Mohan is Ram. There, this is the powerful energy. Ramane ki Ram. Ram is always who is together and thinking and meeting and loving exchange doing. That is Ram. Ramane ki Ram. He is always in Raman, in loving. Yeah. They are both one and the same identity. They differ only in form. He is the first bodily expansion of Krishna and he assists in Lord Krishna's transcendental pastimes. So here it is stated very clear that Balaram or Nityananda are also helping in Krishna's transcendental pastimes and he has no limitation. The original Lord Krishna appeared in Navadvip as Lord Chaitanya and Balaram appeared with him as Lord Nitya Ananda. And now comes the first or better the second hint. May Sri Nityananda Ram be the object of my constant remembrance. So Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is saying here, May Sri Nityananda Ram be the object of my constant remembrance. Some may say now, yeah, if he means Balaram. But I have a different feeling. I don't want to say I'm right, but my feeling is it is a hint to Ananda Mang Ananda uh, ah sorry, Rade Rade <laughs> to Ananga Mandri. Because Nityananda is Anangamandri. So he is Anangamandri and Balaram in one person. And this means he's always in Ramareti and he's always getting the Bala, the, the power of the love. And that's why. This person is so crazy in love. He is an Avadut. And he is, like we heard before, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Because of that, he is in the supreme exchange of love in every moment. And this is actually the opulence we are speaking here. It's not material opulence. It's not the opulence of grounds and palaces and, you know, all these things. No, it's actually the opulence of this love which is with him. And this is the real opulence. So we can speak here freely about opulence without being in God consciousness. Because we are not interested in God consciousness. We are interested in this exchange, in this sweet exchange of love. So we may remember this when we hear now 
all the different kind of opulences which are coming out of this love. Actually, these are Radharani's opulences. We will hear now, but in different forms. Lord Balaram is the original Shankarshan. He assumes five other forms to serve Lord Krishna. So this is another hint. What kind of love Radharani has? She is coming actually. Antaranga Shakti is going to be Vahiranga Shakti. The inner potency is going in the outer realm to serve in love. Gurudev said this so many times this, that his Gurudev told him that, right? We heard from Gurudev personally, he told him that. And then it, he says also that he took some time that he understood. Yeah, it's not so easy to understand if we think that we are learned and very wise. We may understand when we back that Nitai is showing us his person. He is actually himself giving the real emotional information to us from inside. Then we may understand. And then through Gurudev to Guru Manjari, he will actually give it to us. So, Antaranga Shakti is going to be or act in Vahiranga Shakti. And this is what we hear. So, he is going to have four other forms. He executes the orders of Lord Krishna in the work of creation and in the form of Lord Shesha. He serves Krishna in various ways. So here we can hear that he is taking care of the jivas and in the same way he is serving as Lord Shesha in the Leelas, in so many different ways. So actually Nityananda is serving everywhere. He is spreading Radharani's love in every corner of the existence, in every little atom. That's why he is also Mahavishnu and so on. We hear this. The first form is Mahashankashan. The second is Karanat, uh, Karanabdi Shai Vishnu. Then the third form is Gabuda Kashai Vishnu. And the fourth is Kshiroda Kashai Vishnu. And the fifth is Shesha. So in all these forms, Actually, the love, the Shakti, the, the, the Radharani's love is actually brought to the different places. And there you can only find her love. This is the real opulence. At least this is my view. Sarvarupe Avadaya Krishna Sevananda Se Balaram Gorasange Nityananda. In all the forms he tastes the transcendental bliss of serving Krishna. We all know who actually has the greatest bliss in serving Krishna. Aradhika. Radhika. Radhika. 
That same Balaram is Lord Nityananda, the companion of Lord Gorasundra. And as we understand Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is in the form, in, in the um, ex. She is in, in, in the inner mood of Radha, and she also has the, the glance of Radha. So, actually, she is coming in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with the sister in the form of Nityananda. So, Ananga Manjari is coming with her in the form of Nityananda. So, in our case, we see her. We see these two sisters actually, Anangamandri and Radharani. And they having a good time in playing outside the role of two boys or men, Nityananda and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But they having a good time inside. Text 12. I have explained this seventh verse in four subsequent, uh, subsequent verses. By these verses, all the world can know the truth about Lord Nityananda. I surrender unto the lotus feet of Sri Nityananda Ram. Again, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is saying Nityananda Ram, who is known as Sankarshan in the midst of the Chatur Vyuha, consisting of Vyasadev, Sankarshan, Radumna, and Aniruddha. He possesses full opulence and resides in Vaikuntha Loka, far beyond the material creation. He possesses full opulence. What does it mean, full opulence? Full Brema, full Ananda. Full opulence. And this is a link to Radharani. Again, we heard Antaranga Shakti, Vahiranga Shakti. By the energy of Balaram, of Sri Balaram, actually all these opulences exist. And all the wishes of the jivas who want to have a specific relationship with the Lord in different kind of forms are actually fulfilled like that. Text 14. Prakritira para paravyoma name dhama krishna vikraha yaiche vibhuti adi gunavan. Beyond the material nature lies the realm known as paravyoma, the spiritual sky. Like Lord Krishna himself, is possess, uh, it possesses all transcendental attributes, such as the six opulences. Beyond the material nature lies the realm known as Paravyoma, the spiritual sky. And like the Lord himself, it possesses all transcendental attributes, such as the six opulences. 
we may remember that we read in uh, Adilila chapter 4 about Sarva Lakshmi and she is actually the representation of Krishna's opulences. It means Radharani is actually the person who has these opulences of Krishna in herself and she is actually as Shakti giving him. We have to understand Shakti is giving to Shaktiman. Shaktiman without Shakti doesn't work. So if we remember this, then we can see that actually Radharani is everywhere. And she is actually the abode, even of all kind of forms. She is actually giving the home for Krishna wherever he is going to Mathura or wherever he is going, she is giving the home for him. That's a very interesting aspect. Love is giving the realm for everything. Krishna wants to enjoy in different moods, in different uh, relations. Radharani is giving the abode for it. Love is giving the abode. What else? You need a home to enjoy love, right? If you are in Aishwarya, then you need a very nice home, very rich. But if you are in Madhurya, you just need a vana, a forest, some huts where you can meet. So it depends, but actually the base is Radharani's love in all aspects. So what we hear about the opulences means we hear about the opulence of Radharani's love. So many aspects her love has. That Vaikuntha region is all pervading, infinite and supreme. It is the residence of Lord Krishna and his incarnations. So here we hear it. It is the residence of Lord Krishna and his incarnations. And who is giving this residence? The highest region of that spiritual sky in the spiritual planet called Krishna Loka, it has three divisions. Dwaraka, Mathura, and Gokula. Sri Gokula is the highest of all, and it's also called Braj, Goloka, or Svetadvip, or Vrindavan. Like the transcendental body of Lord Krishna, Gokula is all pervading, infinite and supreme. It's, it expands both above and below without any restriction. This is underlining the love. Like the transcendental body of Lord Krishna, Gokula is all pervading. It's expanding in both without any restriction. This is love. Only love is going everywhere. No restrictions. And Radharani is giving the home. Wherever Krishna may be.
that abode we are talking from is manifested within the material world by the will of Lord Krishna. It is identical to that original Gokula. They are not two different bodies. So our Vrindavan here is also the Vrindavan. They are not different. The original Gokula And this is by the mercy of Radharani. Every Brajbasi knows that, and they will say, Vrindavan is the home of Radharani. It's the land of Radharani. Right? Brema netre deke tarasvarup prakash, gopa kopi sange, yanha krishnera vilas. But with the eyes of love of Godhead, one can see its real identity as the blaze where Lord Krishna performs his pastimes with the cowherd boys and cowherd girls. I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord, the first progenitor who is tending the cows, yielding all desires in abodes built with spiritual gems and surrounded by millions of purpose trees. He is always served with great reverence and affection by hundreds and thousands of goddesses of fortune. Jai Shri Rani. Jai Gauravani, sorry. Can you read for Gurudev again this verse 22? I think he will like to hear this. Chintamani Brakhara Satmashu no, no, this, oh, sorry, this before Prema Nitre. This is so ah. nice. Brema Nitre Deketara Swarupa Prakash Gopa Gopi Sange Yanha Krishnera Vilas. Well, this is so nice. Prema Nitre with the eyes of divine love. One can see one's real identity at place where Krishna is playing with the cowherd girls and cowherd boys in winter. It's amazing, na prema netre deke tara svaru paprakash. Sorry, only. Yeah. Only. Then when you will pray, Netra will come, you will see yourself. Yes, you will, yes, please. Without seeing Sarup, not possible. Our constitutional position has to see. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is All by your mercy, Gurudev, you give us this <laughs> eagerness. <laughs> wow. This pressure. Without Pema Netre, and this Nita is giving mm. the loving eyes and develop your Sarup. Mm -hmm. 
Swarupa Prakash. Mm-hmm. So clear, no? So clear. Page 4, Pad Gita. Here, where you see the same Ketan Satam. You can see the mercy of Prabhupada. The yeah. It's all clear, but uh, you need the eyes of the love. That if you don't true. use these eyes, you cannot see. Even it is described crystal clear. Yeah. Oh. Very important. Go. No, it's up to you. Very, very. Then, uh, then is this? Yeah, we need this. We need this eyes. Prema Nitri. And. Uh, this is all as a cream you yeah. put on the eyes. Mm-hmm. You have to put this cream on the eyes, then you will get. Then the eyes are connected with the heart. Wow. Then you see with eyes who are connected with the heart and not with the mind. Wow. Damn. Then love can. <laughs> wow. Different, different eyes. Yeah. New system. <laughs> Premanitre. Premanetra system. <laughs> <laughs> also, we can change everything. All our senses, when they are connected with the heart, then we get this new body, this rupa we need for the for our spiritual life. As long as our senses connected with the mind. We are in the material world. When our senses are connected with the heart, with love, everything changed. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then Rupa is coming. We get the, we get new body. The whole body is made of love, then. And the ego is is finished. False ego. When the real ego lives, then the false ego is dead. There's, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Go on. You see that we have to be on the right place. We have to fill the right container. <laughs> one container is in the mind and one container is in the heart. <laughs> Mundavar, so nice, so lucky, so good. Yeah. <laughs> this is to join in this setting. Wow. <laughs> Gorwani. Beautiful topic. I must skip this. Not to read opponents like this. Finding so beautiful words. 
माई गॉड दिस इज अपोलेंसिंग द रियल अपोलेंस प्रभु पाद मस इफ आई हैव नो विजन प्रेम नेत्र not loving eyes then how i can know by the mind is not working <laughs> i read i read different only <laughs> <laughs> with the god me rasika prem and netra come in life yeah गुरुदेव वी आर ऑल स्विमिंग टूगेदर इन क्रीपा दिस इज वट आई सी वी आर ऑल स्विमिंग ऑल द टाइम इन क्रीपा एंड वाई यूर by your mercy you are the teacher and you are teaching how to swim in the greatness of your kindness i'm just the puppet in your hand you are the teacher how they are swimming you are showing us great great god one yeah if we get the cream for this loving eyes from our guru we also can give it to others then open their eyes if we know how to make this cream this special cream this medicine for the eyes but the rest of it is always giving by the guru and if we get a recipe we can also make some cream and give it to others also that they can Chachudan. open their eyes chakshudan dilo ke janme janme prabhu se who give this divine vision eyes in hindi they say prema anjan anjan means side cream right a side black but eyebrow ah uh out on white uh eyebrow uh, eyebrow yeah makes more clean eyes and yeah black. yeah and mm. eyes of very nice yeah this is made from ghee also this many, made many. from yeah mm. and for radhika reminding krishna because he is also black ah she like to put something always in i black mm. kajal kajal is the name kajal yeah yeah wow and 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 you will be more rasa you will drag it <laughs> that is prema group yeah Wow. Yeah. Right. Good. Another point was actually it was said by the will of the Lord. Actually, these different kinds of forms are manifested. I was just meditating on that. What means the will of the Lord? Actually. I give the check. What is the meaning? 
So the will of the Lord, who knows the will of the Lord? Who knows what is on Krishna's mind? Radharani is so absorbed to please her beloved that she knows perfectly the will of him, even before he knows. So who can make this preparation that wherever he goes, he has a home, a loving home? Only Radharani can do that. So the will of Lord Krishna means to say, Radha knows the will and is implementa uh, implementing it or transpose it. And in the same time, it's not different. All this is not different from her own will. Because she is Parama Karunamai. What means that she is not only giving Krishna in all his different forms a home, also the jivas. This is out of love. That's why she is called Parama Karunamai. Even Krishna needs this Karunamai. And this is actually the opulence of love, of Prema. So because of the love of Radharani, all this is happening. And there are expansions like Vasudev, Sankashan, Prajumna and Aniruddha. And all these quadruple forms, these four-handed forms are actually there. And we may understand that not one of these forms are without Lakshmi. And this is actually expansion of Radha. So Radharani is always with all parts of Krishna. So love is expanding in endless forms to fulfill all kind of seva of love for the jivas and of course, in the Lilas. So Krishna's own form has only two hands, but in the form of Lord Narayan, he has four hands. Lord Narayan holds a conch shell, a disc, a club, a lotus flower, and he is full of great opulence. The Sri, Bhu and Nila energies serve at his lotus feet. All these are description in which kind of forms love herself is always serving her beloved. Although these pastimes are his only characteristic functions, by his costless mercy, he performs one activity for the fallen souls. He delivers the fallen living entities 
by offering them the four kinds of liberation. I was thinking about this. If, if a jiva doesn't want to serve in love, this is like a child when you go in the supermarket and the child is lying on the floor and banging with the feet on the ground. But I want, but I want, and I don't want, and I don't want, you know, this children like that completely out of any control. A mother also loves them. So these four kind of liberations actually are meant for people who don't want to serve in any direct relationship, but still they are loved so much that they can have liberation, they can have a, an out time for some millions of years or a short short out time okay you can have liberation because that means i don't want to go in any loving relationship actually but please share if you have other feelings it's just i had this feeling that actually it's also another expression of love actually But the four liberations, they have more than that, more than just the break. In the Brahman, you have this break without form, but you can also have the form like Vishnu, like you, you can be like God. On the same level, I am God, you are God, we are all God. <laughs> it's also kind of break because it, it is not an active, loving, relationship right it's just saying i'm like you leave me alone i want to be like you on the same level and we have a nice neutral relationship like that Outside the Vaikuntha planets is the atmosphere of the glowing effulgence, which consists of the supreme bright rays of the body of Lord Krishna. So we all know that. That region is called Siddha Loka and is beyond material nature. Its essence, its essence is spiritual, but it does not have spiritual varieties, just a break. It is like homogeneous effulsions around the sun, but inside the sun are the chariots, horses and other opulences of the sun god. As true devotion to the Lord, one can attain his abode. Many have attained that goal by abandoning, abandoning their sinful activities and absorbing their minds in the Lord through lust, envy, fear or affection. This is actually the description of Vaidhi and it is also showing where Vaidhi Bhakti actually is, will bring you in the end. If you stay in fear of God, then you will come in this realm. So we see, this is all different kind of loves for all jivas whatever um, 
tendency we have. Love has a solution for us. It will get us somewhere where we are and bring us slowly, slowly, slowly higher into again an active exchange of love. So here is about the Brahman, it's more described, I think. We don't need to go more in that. So the second expansion of Tvaraka In that spiritual sky is written here on the four sides of Narayan are the second expansion of the quadruple expansion of Dvaraka. And there is a very long description. Vasude, Shankarshan, Pradumna and Aniruddha constitute the second quadruple they are purely transcendental. Now we hear about all these different kind of Vishnu forms, Sankarshan, Pratumna, Aniruddha, and so on. If someone is interested, he may read in Chaitanya Chari Amrita. Adilila chapter 5. So there are personal features of Balaram called Maha Shankarshan in the shelter of the spiritual energy. He is the primary cause, the cause of all causes. And this is another interesting point of love, actually. Because out of love, Radharani is going in so many different forms. Unlimited forms. We may have this meditation that a, a, a mother is going in so many different kind of rules, roles to, to serve the children, right? She's a cook, she is a, a housewife cleaning, maybe she's going to work, maybe she, she's doing so many things out of love. And we can see the same here. All these forms are manifestations of the opulence of love. And the base of Brahma. So we will end here from this chapter and next time we will read even more tasty themes, the exchange between 
Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Roy. So this time, actually this, I wanted to give an, an, an view what actually Nityananda is doing out of love and that actually Nityananda is the representation of the love of Radharani and combined with the love of Krishna and we may see that in the form that mother and father are taking care of their children. This is not our Leela, but actually it's, it's the base of the love, we, which is actually given to us, we are living in. That's why if we have the eyes of love, we can see the love everywhere in every detail, even under these circumstances now. But you need to have the right understanding with the heart, otherwise you will not understand what is the mercy in these circumstances I am living now. So somebody wants maybe to share on that or have questions, going further, going deeper. Very beautiful, Goravani. And the best uh, inspiration today, for me, the pearls of, of your explanations was the, how Balaram is the power of Ram, of Radha and Mohan's exchanges that I like, and uh, how Balaram and Ananda and Nityananda are all three, one divine entity. And then with the eyes of love, we can also be purified and feel who we are in this Leela. That was my highlight today. Thank you. I think this is the most important point that we understand that we are existing of nothing else than the love of Radharani. This is our existence. Bhava. We have a Bhava Deha, right? Bhava Deha, it is said. That means we have a body of feeling. Our spiritual body is not cross like this. It's just mm. a Bhava Deha. So that means we have a body out of feelings. And what kind of feelings can this be in the spiritual sky? It cannot be feelings like fear. It cannot be material feelings. No, no, no. That they are completely spiritual feelings. And this means prema, love. Up to Mahabhav. So if we understand that actually we are already this, we don't have to become. We are already. It's just covered. 
That's why Gurudev is actually pressing this point again and again and again. We need feelings. We cannot come in our spiritual identity if we are not open for feelings. And it may be because of the coverings that in the beginning they are also not so nice feelings, but they have to come out first. Then they can change in the relationship because we exchange like bad water you are giving in the system which is bringing the bad water into some cleaning process then it comes to some uh, stream the stream ends in the ocean it will be cleaned and it comes back again and it's completely sober again right so with feelings it's also like that you have to exchange it that it can be cleansed actually then it can be cleaned a little but that means you cannot exchange with all people your feelings because then it will not be cleansed maybe it will be even more dirty depends on the person you have sangha so that's why we are actually having this sangha here with gurudev and with all this wonderful vaishnavas and self-realized persons that we actually can exchange the feelings and wash them so that they are clean again so that our bhava they are maybe pure That's why we need an exchange and we need an exchange with Radharani, our goal, that they get so pure that we come again in the seva, in the direct seva. Nothing else. Actually, the six Goswamis also did, right? When we hear the prayers of Raghunadas, we hear the prayer of Rupa Goswami, it's a constant exchange of feelings, constant exchange of feelings. And they get cleaner and cleaner. We can read in Vilap Kusumanjali or Radharas Sudanidi, Utkalika Valeri. We can read and we can see how they begin and how they end. So it's like a emotion, no, a feelings washing program like that. <laughs> Yes, very nice. And I I feel at the moment in my meditation, I feel even more um, attracted to, to Ananga Manjari's uh, seva because she is already in these feelings and she is like the mediator with Nityananda to the, you know, souls who are in this washing program, so to say. And she is really helping to look at the points where, where there needs to be more purification. She is that part of Shimate Radhika who is showing how to develop a spiritual body or to become, you know, Ananga means without the body in the sense that we come out of the mind and we come into our feelings and we we develop this uh by nita is mercy we develop this fixed strata that we are like you said who we are we just have to develop some more purification uh and more desires to come to come where's our natural position as a soul, as a servant of Shimate Radhika. And uh, yeah, that is very amazing to meditate about them all together. <laughs> Nityananda, Balaram, and Ananga Madhuri. I It's a very uh, amazing, amazing um, 
Uh, I don't want to use the word tattva because that seems to be so philosophical. But it's an it's a it's a it's the love of Shimate Radhika that's coming through these channels that is reminding us of who we are. And I'm uh, completely amazed, and that's why I was looking so much forward today to listen from you explanations here of Chaitanya Taitamrita, the glories of Nityananda Balaram. Thank you. So nice. Thank you. So nice to share these feelings with us. And that's why, actually, because of your explanation, I just remember that Brema Tattva. I always say Brema Tattva. Because, mm. as you said, you don't want to use tattva because it sounds like uh, maybe too much philosophical or uh, knowledgeable. But for me, it's I also was searching for some words, and then I said brema tattva. Like also pancha tattva for me, it's it's not pancha. Yes, it's five, but actually it's brema. It's five kind of brema tattva. So it's brema tattva actually. Because all five aspects are just there to actually bring us again where we belong. Inside of the flow of Ananda. So in the source of Prema actually. And of course, Balaram has to do something with that, because he is Bala Rama. And he is one aspect of Nityananda. And Nityananda is such a poor, wonderful person. I love to meditate on Nityananda and his aspects like Anangamandri. Because this is the person we are actually have this connection through through Guru Tattva, through Vishnu Tattva, especially through the Avaduta, because he is always in Ram and he is spreading the Bala the power of love actually everywhere so and we are connected this is actually our dear mama like this it's like like a, a mother like radharani who, who will huh janavama <laughs> yes janavama yeah that's the point It's really like that. We just have to accept Mama and follow. And if we don't understand her, that's why our Guru Dev is there. Guru Mandri will make us understand more and more. So we can learn to uh, to walk in a spiritual realm, to walk again, step by step. But all your others, you also have feelings. Don't you want to share? Let us grow with your feelings also. Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade. Share. First of all, I want to say that I'm completely happy to see your faces <laughs> during the week. And yes, and what you have told now, Goravani, it's like, how to say in Russian, it is saying like, to take from the tongue, to take from the mind. Yesterday, uh, here, we, now we're living in small town in Russia, but here, you know, is the biggest temple in Russia of ISKCON. And in this temple, uh, there are huge, very nice takurjis of Panchatatva. 
like two meters tall or even more from very nice marble. They're so shining. They're so sweet, extremely sweet. They're so blissful. I don't know. From them, such a special aura from this Takurji. So we have an opportunity to come there to the Siskon Temple. And yesterday, you know, it was very sweet moment. Uh, in the morning, uh, we came all together, all our family, to help cooking for this uh, Sunday program. So no one was there in the altar room. And we were with my son with Zahar, he's seven year old and uh, he's you know he's like in his own uh world but i was like pulling him and we were standing just like just behind these takurjis they're so huge so shining so sweet and i was saying to him do you know who, who are they like speaking about them because we, we have uh, we have uh, then uh, we had an opportunity the uh, there was <laughs> no person there so i was saying that it's you know it's like uh five faces of love <laughs> for me it's like five faces of love and i started to say to him that it's all love but you know we were talking we had a discussion you know very funny thing <laughs> after some time a year this is right and he's like um, hiding, he's coming to uh, uh, the temple to have a darshan because he's very famous and all ones from his. So he's coming uh, during the time where he is not there. And when I was talking about this, suddenly I see that he just, just nearby, like this, you know, basins, and then he's like coming up. Uh, so, yes, uh, what you have told, everything was yesterday in my heart when I was gazing uh, to this beautiful Pancha Tatva there. And I, I'm, I'm seeing Radhika's face in each and every <laughs> member of Pancha Tatva. And I was trying to explain this to uh, my son because I'm feeling... Uh, Thanks to Gurudev, to you, that you are giving this Sambanda and it works, really it works. And we can share this also. And when they had a celebration in Iskon, Radha Yatra, they gave me uh, the service to write a scenario for this. And I was trying to uh, somehow <laughs> to say about this thing that actually our Panchatatva is Radhika, actually our Gauranga is Radhika, because only Radhika can drag Krishna with the rope of love, something like this. Uh, so, some miracles, they're changing, and this Pancha Tattva makes everyone to move, to things to happen. So this is what I wanted to share. Wonderful, thank you very much. And you find so nice words for your child, actually. Because it has to be simple. Like for us, Gurudev is giving us always very simple explanations, right? He could give more complicated, but he's always cooking it down very, very simple that we can understand. The explanations of love. Yes, five kinds, five faces of different kind of loves. It is perfect. Thank you very much. Maybe someone else also want to share something. Please, you are all invited. If not, it doesn't have to be. But please always feel invited to share with us because we are all different children and we are all very individual and we are seeing things very individual. Sometimes we see that a quarrel is arising out of that because if you think that you are right and the other not, then 
chord is coming. But if we see it just like another aspect of love, then it can be a very sweet exchange, actually. Because there are so many different aspects of love, you cannot tell them all, it's not possible, it's, it's unlimited. But it's so very nice to hear more different views, what kind of phase love has, actually, for you. For me it has like this, and for another person it has another. So it's it's very interesting and I love to hear from all people different views, how they see the, the same thing actually. Because this is bringing us further and is actually stabilizing our, uh, our feelings and uh, our faith actually. So that's why it's, it's nice to share. I don't want to always just talk. <laughs> I want to hear also from you, if it's possible, but no pressure. But I would love to hear. So, if not, then we may come to an end today. Uh, yesterday I was sick, I still a little bit weak. And so that's why I make a little bit short today. Please forgive me. And uh, next time we will hear about the exchange of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with Ramananda Roy. So this is one of the sweetest exchange you can hear, the sweetest exchange of Prema and how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is speaking through Ramananda Roy to himself. <laughs> Very wonderful exchange full of love. So we will hear next time. Thank you all for being here, investing your time with us together, having this loving exchange. Radhe, Radhe. Grazie, Madhuria. Thank you so much. Radhe, Radhe. Thank you. Thank you, Dharani. Guravani Prabhu is not wasting time. Wow. You say my words is not wasting our time. Precious time with you. Thank you so much. I'm feeling so lucky with the association of June meetings that we can share and we can share our feelings. You see the opponent's side is the love side. You want to say the eyes of love can see up. And how I will see with my spiritual eye. And that is to fix. If you see the Jesus, he was so powerful. Why? Because he fixed his spiritual identification that he is a son and he loves his father. Right? Yes. Fixing my constitutional position, I cannot love divine love. And that is love I by the grace of Nityananda 
and this is the real opulence of the soul and living being. Great, great, great. He never, he never died. So this is the highest greatness of Nikram. Yeah. And Rai Ramananda is Vishakha Sakhi. And when Radha Rani, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, she, her old friend, then he becomes the next person. He forget that he is a sannyasi, and he forget that he is a king, and that is his love. You will see that you are in more and more to feel it and see that, and then see there are two persons who is in love. They see with the loving eyes, and they realize who is who. And who is Karam Kandi? They become surprised what is happening. This sannyasi is rolling in the land to see the king. A king is rolling to see sannyasi. What type of their person is there? Who should see this? With Karamdhani, <laughs> with out of his feelings. Like, on and on. When he will go with his feelings, then Radharani, in the mood of Krishna, took the mood, Radha's mood. We can no more details about Radha and Krishna has in the form of Chaitanya. Yes, or Vani ki I am so proud of you. And I am so happy that you are giving us this possibility that we can... No, you are giving us possibilities. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is this the... The same like Ramananda Roy and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, tell me, but actually he is speaking through him. So yeah. you are speaking through this fallen person. I don't, I don't know how you are doing this, but somehow it works. So I'm learning my dear. Reviving, improving myself. I can just feel the emanation of your love, actually, and this is just Radharani's cleanse which is coming from you. So, yeah, yeah, all that is the mercy of Radhi. She is the goal. And it cannot be the way for that. Besides, the master is not a goal. He is the way to show the goal. Yeah. Right. Actually, yeah. you know what we say in German? I think it's coming from Rome, from uh, Italian. Huh? Nomen est omen? You know this? Yeah, no, I don't know. That means a name is actually like a predic prediction. And your name is Anangamandri. Yeah. What more to say? <laughs> but I am not. That I mean, my baby. No, no, but you are representing. 
it's said like like the name is giving you the opportunity to become like something is a mark to happen now 